Hello everybody. Uh, I wanted to talk to you because uh, it comes up sometimes with uh, patients asking about uh, uh, anatomical implants uh, versus smooth implants. So the anatomical implants, I'll have one here. If you look, when I hold it, it's flat on, and then it gets, you know, fuller here. So the idea is it's already made like a tear shape and so the goal is to give patients a more natural look without having this fullness which is unnatural on top. Because if you look at natural breasts and they've done studies, a, uh, what was considered a, an aesthetically beautiful breast had about 55% of its weight on the bottom and 45% on the top. Now these were originally made for reconstructive surgery, uh, they were not made for cosmetic and then people just got interested in them. Um, there is a couple of issues with these however, as you can see the surface of these implants have, it has this yellow and you can't feel it but it, it is kind of rough, it's a textured surface. And the reason that was done, because these implants, if they rotate, which sometimes implants do, uh, they look weird, right? right? Because the, the top is flat. And so the texturing um, makes the, the breast implant stick to the breast tissue more, so hopefully it won't move. Um, if you look at a smooth implant, <coughs> this is a smooth round implant. As you can see, the top is not flat and it's smooth. Um, so you, if it rotates, you know, you're not going to see any difference. The problem with these implants are, um, well, first of all, and again, I'm talking about using this in cosmetic surgery, uh, you know, not for reconstructive breast surgery. Um, the, one of the issues with this is obviously the rotation. The other issue is there is a rare form of breast uh, implant related cancer called anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Uh, we call it ALCL or BIA ALCL. That means breast implant associated ALCL. And as far as we know, <clears throat> they have been only associated with textured implants. <clears throat> we have not found a direct association with smooth implants. And actually, Allergan, uh, which is the company that made the gummy bear implants, which everybody asks about, the gummy bear implant or, or the Style 410. Uh, implant is actually a an, uh, is actually an anatomical implant, the style 410, and everybody asked about it because th th at that time it had the most cohesive uh, silicone bonding. Well, now all the implants are pretty much, you know, like a gummy bear implant, um, and that kind of brings me to this thing that people hear something and they ask for it without really knowing all the details. So the company that made these anatomical implants, Allergan, actually voluntarily took them off the market a few years ago because they didn't want to deal with this potential risk of ALCL. Now, the, the thing that I wanted to show you is, again, this is a smooth round implant. You can see it's not flat on top, but look what happens when you stand, okay, when gravity kicks in. Do you see that? It becomes like an anatomical implant. You can see that, right? They, they look, they're flat on top and, and uh, four on the bottom. And I have never used uh, these anatomical implants. I've always used smooth round implants. Um, <clears throat> I can tell you by looking at photos, um, you cannot tell whether uh, a patient is an anatomical or a smooth round implant, or actually a, a texture round implant for that matter. Uh, because gravity is going to pull uh, is going to pull the weight down, and you're going to get more of that tear shape drop. So, to me, in my opinion, if you're con contemplating cosmetic breast implant surgery, it doesn't make a lot of sense to pay more for these implants. The textured implants are more expensive because there's more process, right, to make them textured um, and have potentially this rare <clears throat> form of cancer. Now the Based on the, the data that we have now, the, rate, the, the, uh, the risk of getting this cancer is anywhere from 1 in 2,000 to 1 in 80,000. It's a huge range, and just depending on the study and the patient population that was done. 1 in 2,000, I mean, it's still not that common, but I mean, why take the risk? If, uh, if you 
And again, look at, you know, for example, you can visit our website. Um, I'll put the link below, www.drjaz.com. You can look at our before and after breast implant surgeries. And you, you cannot tell, I cannot tell you. And they've done studies with plastic surgeons. We, ha we are not able to tell um, unless you take the implant out and actually looking at it or maybe have them lie down. I mean, they're, it's really hard to tell unless you take them out. So, um, you know, so keep that in mind. Um, again, the style, the gummy bear implant was actually a, an anatomical textured implant, which is no longer in the market, so do not ask for gummy bear implants. Um, all silicone implants are pretty much cohesive gel now. Um, like the gummy bear implants, they don't leak out like the old implants several, you know, generations ago. Um, and again, there's really no benefit for cosmetic, again, I, I want to emphasize cosmetic uh, breast uh, augmentation uh, to choose um, a tear shape implant. Alright, well I hope this information was helpful to you. Take care and be safe.